Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. Today, we are going to create infographic chart, like this. So let's get started, first, create a new composition. I am using 2500 by 1500 pixels, and this is our main comp. Now create new solid layer. This is our background layer. Select the layer and search fill color. And change fill color. Now select ellipse tool. And create a circle like this. We don't need fill color, and increase stroke 20 pixels. Now animate this, so select the layer, go to add, and select trim paths. Open trim paths, go to first frame, and add keyframe on end, and end amount 0%, then go to 1 second forward, and change end amount 100%. Select last keyframe and easy ease them, make your graph like this. Now create a circle inside the stroke circle, select ellipse tool and create a circle, stroke none, and fill color white. Go to one second forward, and add a keyframe on scale. Then go to first frame, and change scale amount 0%, select last keyframe and easy ease them, and make your graph like this, and move lay a few frame forward. Perfect. Now we need to add our text. So select text tool and type your text. Open text layer go to animate. And select position. Opacity. Move Y position minus 100. And opacity 0%. Now open range selector, then advance, change shape ramp up, and ease low 80%. Now go to first frame, and add a keyframe on offset, and offset amount minus 100%. Then go to one second forward, and change the offset amount 100%. Also change the based on character to lines. Perfect. Select both keyframes and easy ease them. And move the layer few frame forward. Now we need to create a big stroke circle. So select ellipse tool. And create a big circle like this. Fill color none, and stroke 15 pixels. Now we need to animate the stroke. So select the layer and add trim path. We only need to animate the front side of the circle. So first adjust the starting point. Then adjust the end point. Now we need to animate this. So go to one second forward and add a keyframe on end. Then go to first frame, and keep the end amount same as the start amount. Select the last keyframe and easy ease them, and make your graph like this. And move the layer few frame forward. Now add two small circle top and end points. So select ellipse tool, stroke none, and fill color white. And create a small circle. Move anchor point center of the circle. Go to one second forward, 
and add a keyframe on scale. Then go to first frame and change scale amount 0%. Easy ease the last keyframe, and make your graph like this. And move the layer where big stroke line started. Now duplicate the layer. And move the circle end of the stroke. Also move the layer few frame forward. Now we need to create one more small circle, like this. Select the layer, hit S for scale, go to one second forward and add a keyframe, then go to first frame and change scale amount 0%. Select last keyframe and easy ease them. Move the layer few frame forward. Now duplicate the layer. Go to last keyframe and change scale amount 80%. Now select the layer, and search gradient ramp effect. And change the color according to your choice. And move start point and end point, close to the circle. And move the layer few frame forward. Cool. Now we need to create a line stroke. So select Bend Tool, and create a stroke, like this. Fill color none, and stroke 5 pixel. Also move the layer, below the circle layers. Now animate the stroke, so open shape layer, and add trim paths. Open trim paths. Change end amount 0%. And add a keyframe on first frame. Then go to 1 second forward, and change the end amount 100%. Select last keyframe and easy ease them. Now move the layer few frame forward. Now create one more circle end of the line. Stroke none, and fill color white. Now go to one second forward, and add a keyframe on scale. Then go to first frame and change scale amount 0%. Select last keyframe and easy ease them, and make your graph like this. And move the layer few frame forward. Now we need to add our text here. So select text tool, and type your text. Change text color according to small circle. Now animate this. So open text layer. Go to Animate, and select Position, Opacity. Go to 1 second forward, and change Y position, minus 50. And Opacity 0%. Now open Range Selector, then Advance, change based on words. Shape Ramp Up. And increase Ease Low 80%. Now go to first frame and add a keyframe on offset, and offset amount minus 100%. Then go to few frame forward, and change offset amount 100%. Move the layer when our circle start to be visible.
perfect. Now we need to create description box, so select rounded rectangle tool, and create a box like this. Open rectangle path, and increase roundness. We need to apply the same gradient effect, as we have done with small circle, so select small circle, copy gradient ramp effect, and paste it on rounded rectangle layer. And adjust the start and end point. Also move the layer, below to the circle. Now we need to animate the rounded box. So first duplicate the layer, and delete gradient ramp effect. Hit P for position. Go to 1 second forward, and add a keyframe, then go to first frame, and move the rounded box left side of the comp, like this. Now select the bottom layer, and change track mat alpha mat. Cool. Select last keyframe and easy ease them, and make your graph like this. Select the both layers and move few frame forward. Perfect. Now we need to add our text here, so select text tool and type your text. Now open text layer, go to animate, and select, opacity, and tracking. Go to 1 second forward, and change tracking amount minus 20, and opacity 0%. Now open range selector, then advanced, change shape ramp up, and easy low, 50%. Now go to first frame and add a keyframe on offset, and offset amount minus 100%, then go to one second forward and change offset amount 100%, select last keyframe and easy ease them, and make your graph like this. and also move the layer few frame forward. Perfect. Now add our description, so again select text tool. Create a paragraph box, and type your text here. Now open text layer, go to animate, and select position and opacity, change Y position, 80, and opacity 0%, now open range selector, then advanced, change shape ramp up, and ease low, 80%, also change based on lines, go to first frame, and add a keyframe on offset, and change offset minus 100%, then go to 1 second forward, and change offset 100%. Now move the layer few frame forward. Now select the step 1 circle layer, and search drop shadow effect. Distance 10. Softness 50. And opacity 30%. Cool. Now we need to create another rounded box. So select all of these layers, like this. Make sure our mask layer also selected. Right click, and pre-compose them. I call this step 1. 
trim the extra part of the layer. Now duplicate the layer, go to project window, and duplicate the step 1 comp here. Hold alt key and drag step 2 comp, over the duplicate step 1 layer, and move below to step 1. Now open step 2 comp, and adjust the circles. Also change the step 1 text, and change the gradient ramp color, and adjust the end and start point. Now copy the effect, select rounded box and paste it here, and adjust the start and end point. Cool. Move the layer few frame forward. Perfect. Similarly add two more infographic. Change the gradient ramp color and text and move the layer few frame forward. I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. After creating all infographics our comp looks like this. Perfect, our animation has done, hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video, so please, like it, share it and subscribe to the channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.